Hello guys, welcome. My name is Sandeep and welcome to another mainframe tutorial. In today's video, we're gonna learn about an interesting DF sort trick which I recently got to know on the internet. So there are a lot of DF sort trick which is used to format our input file, our data set data from one file to another. As you know, DF sort utility is used to sort an input file using various commands so in today's mainframe lecture I am gonna show you one of the DF sort tricks so let me begin as you can see this is my DS list screen I have split my screen into two parts for the ease of access so let us first see what are we gonna try to do today so in this outcome that we require is something like this so there is an input file which we have and in the input file the data is according, accordingly this way the first record is identified by an H and uh, this is a H and then followed by the date then here we have the different types of keys delimited or initials by T so you can see this is a header these are the data and this is the trailer the trailer has all the department department total count and the total value of each data record in the total command so for the output that we require is we want to sort this df sort dot input file in such a way that all the key data that, that record number two record three record six and record seven are copied into another file where only the count and the total of this particular records having key value key 1 is to be sorted so this can be done easily using a df sort utility which I'll show you before we run the df sort trick it is important to know if your df sort support this command execution or not in order to do that I'll I'll mention in the uh, DF sort version which is required to execute this my DF sort version is greater than the required version hence I would be able to execute it you can check your DF sort version using using a JCM which is let me show you F8 go to the pds df sort tricks yes you can check your etf of the df sort using this i'll mention the version name which is required and this jcl into the description of this video after submitting this you can check what is the version of your df sort installed on your system accordingly you can execute this command so let us head towards our main topic so in the df sort trick pds i have a i've already created a member name trick one which is empty let, let us let us code a job card in it i'm using a jc macro for definition of job card so yes we have the job name and uh, job card which is required so let us move ahead with definition of the df sort statement so we will define a step name as one the exact command we will use a df sort program we will direct our spool to the sysout Define our input card input file sort in your file name is if share. Let us define 
try to sort out this will be our output file where we will have the desired data about this file with record length 80 you can use a record length of 40, 80, 160 as you, as, as you require depending on your input file let us define the sort card so we'll copy this file using option copy then we'll define outfield condition so here we do not require to define a f names as we are only using one out let us see in the output file in the sorry I mean to say input file so we only want to have those records with key value s1 which is located at 1 2 3 as a starting position it has a length of 4 byte so outfield will include the particular condition as 3 comma 4 having character value that is equal to C key one. Remember, this is case sensitive. If it is defined in upper a upper case letter, then you also have to define it upper case. So we have defined what data we only want to be outfill it into the output file and if trail function. So the if trail function is the trick over here. The if trail keyword or if trail function helps you. To sort out your input file in a way that you can outfill particular records and only count for, and only work on that particular record for count or total or any other formats or any other mathematical calculation that you require in this case we are only getting out the count and the total so HD HD is yes here the keyword HD tells that header file or the header record that is H is present hence we will include this if it is no then it will exclude the H is H then the date record let us define the trial I trail ID so we will have to define what would be the trail ID what record will be your trail ID so we will define it 1 comma 1 and then CH equals to see. so the character that we are defining the trail id is with t so it will be with keyword trl upd define account at 18th column account in the format of the count will be M11 with the length of 8. Okay, format can be M11. If you define F12, sorry, M12 instead of M11, then you can see here the count value has zeros in it. If it is M12, then the zeros will not be present. Instead, there will be blanks and only 7 will be shown. Okay, here is the difference between M11 and M12. So after defining a count variable, now we require the to this total also to be defined. Location of the total to start the key. What data from the particular outfill record we want to pick and total it up. So here it starts with eight. Let us check. Yes, it starts with eight. And format that is M11. You also want to show zeros in it, and then the length will be six. Uh, I have trail df sort trick just check key and parenthesis closing brackets and uh, we are fine the input file is correct it's in a share mode the output file is naming is correct it's in a share mode and uh, let's just check once key one it's key sensitive understand starting with 3 length is 4 correct think correct so let us go ahead 
and exit from this file or else the program will not execute job card will not execute so in order to invoke the sort program let us submit this gcl job is submitted max cc 16 we need some deb debugging now check with this code only let us check this code maybe there is a sound oh equals to have put it in a string or oh, single mistake I need to be more aware. Yeah, this is a function and it cannot be a defined force. So let us save. I hope you guys let me just go to the screen. Yeah. So yes, here is our trick one member having the F trial function in the GS sort. Save it and submit now. See max is six zero zero. Sorry, let us check what is in the output. Okay, so yes, you can see here is key. All the values, all the records having key one, is is thrown out into another file. The first header record is kept as it is, as we had defined. HD is equals to HD. I'll show you the JCL over here. Yes. So as we have defined the HD is equals to one, so the header is as it is, and uh, the trail ID has to calculate T and then count and total. There are four records. There are four records count. And the total is 100 plus 300. The total is also fine. So yes, this is the trick one. Also, you can also you can execute. Modify your JCL in such a way that you can split this record having key one and key two into two different output files. I mean, have both file having the header as yes, HD is equals to yes, and corresponding trailer with the corresponding count and total. So let us do this to better understand. So I've already defined a member. With trick two as the name, and in that I've already defined out outfill two outfills. First outfill with f name f name key out key one out for the files having key one as the value, and outfill second outfill having f names as key out key two out having key value key two having sorry just cancel this having key 2 so here is the key 1 out and key 2 out so the data from the sorting would be uh, outfilled into two separate output file depending on the character key 1 and key 2 and accordingly the if trial will calculate its count and the total so let us execute this this submit okay there is a successful submission let us jump to the first output file and it has a data as key one yes only data having key one records let us jump to the second output file is df sort output 2 oh sorry and here it has data of key 2 value the header is maintained we have included the header and the trailer record calculates the data accordingly so this was for today's video thank you guys for watching the video if you like this df sort trick in your mainframe community please comment and like the video uh, and uh, Stay tuned, I will be coming up with more such DF sort tricks on a mainframe support. Thank you guys for watching and subscribe the channel.